From a tortured, bloodthirsty madwoman to the most well-known and well-loved immortal angel of the Imperium. And R34 arch of her is not heretical under certain circumstances. You may have confused her for Saint Celestine in the first Dawn of War game. It's okay, we all make mistakes. As long as it doesn't happen again. Or else a heavily armed woman with a big flamethrower would like to have a chat with you. He led a crusade, died, came back to life, and continued leading the crusade. It's no wonder why the Genissaries wear his face. I'm starting to notice a pattern of powerful immortal beings having humble beginnings. She has an entire subsector named after her. This preacher reminded the enemy that Cadia never fell, because the guard never did. He is proof that even slaves to darkness can come back to the light and become stronger for it. Not much to say except she fought the Tau, so there's some ammo for Tau haters. She was also slain by the Tau, so there's some ammo for Tau fans. I know she's not a living saint, but she is the first saint, the first person to perform miracles in the Emperor's name, and is essentially the founder of the Imperial cult. There is no way in hell I am not putting SCP-105's descendant in this video.